Hello and welcome back to XCOM Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing my, uh, plus permanent dark events. Uh, my name is Saiken and we're trying to speedrun the game not only on Commander but on Legendary difficulty to get the Exquisite Timing achievement. A couple of things before we dive into today's mission. So regularly I'm uh, reviewing my videos to so specifically also see if quality is okay. Um, and this time I was a bit unhappy about just how for the entire run um, the graphical performance of OBS has changed with every update. Things are changing just a tiny bit. So I adjusted the video settings. You should see from this episode onwards much better quality. I also looked into the microphone and made sure that there is an appropriate um, buffering level so that you're not going to see or hear an oversteering. Please leave in the comments down below if you like what you're seeing or if the settings do not work. That would be very much appreciated as a feedback. Anyways, to go back to the actual game, uh, today we're going to do Operation Starface which is the neutralization of a field commander. Moderate difficulty means we're going to fight against three to four packs, probably around 12 um, enemies, and the 104 intel are really the kicker of the entire mission. That's why we're doing it. Hopefully we could get it. That would kick us up to 280 intel. And so far the game has been very kind with us when it comes to intel. Let's take a look at uh, whom we're taking with us. We have a few tired soldiers, so that's not going to work. Hayward, however, will work. We will take a ranger with us, Jessica Rabbit. We'll take a grenadier with Pablo with us. And instead of going for the classical sharpshooter, which would be the natural like fourth um, expansion uh, of the core classes, I actually want to go with Mystic. Mandy because I want to um, have another hero class that levels up. I personally like Templars, and if they are played right, um, they can become pretty powerful relatively soon, even without equipment. Uh, that's why I would want to go for him, plus a little bit psionics is never wrong. Let me um, equip everyone, and then we're going to start. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do a bit of a different setup this time. I'm still continuing to use the school jack uh, because it could be a one shot against um, one of uh, the officers or shield bearers which are probably not there yet but that could give us another edge uh, plus it would allow us to with a su sufficiently high hacking score to get additional resources um, we will have one healing charge on uh, Hayward anyways. Uh, the other healing charge would go to Jessica Rabbit, making her immune to poison as well, which isn't too bad when we're fighting against Vipers, for instance. Uh, Corporal Perez will go with uh, two grenades, and Mystic here is going for the flashbang. And that would be it, guys. We need to eliminate an Advent General. And there will be quite a few Advent uh, officers and soldiers that are going to protect him. So let's jump into the mission. All right, so we just landed. We don't know where the exact location of the commander is. But we will find out very, very soon. So let's take a look. We got some nice high ground over here. This time we don't have a sniper. Um, it's not a timed mission until we find the actual commander yeah we know how a templar works thank you though for taking the time to show it again uh, not too good i already mentioned it is likely that we're going to find vipers and there were purifiers on top of it That is not entirely true, by the way, uh, because they do have the faceless ones, which is pretty much an infiltration unit textbook. Infiltration unit. Good. So let's take a look here. We know there is a Viper and a Purifier. That's two out of 12. 
So we're probably going to see quite a few more. We had uh, one mission since the last time that we saw the Chosen, meaning that theoretically she cannot be on this mission. Facility lead is great, but 35% and just a really bad feedback is not worth the opportunity cost, so we're not going to go for that. Moving in a bit closer. Yeah, we're just moving the team in a tight formation. Mystic over here should be fine by just moving all the way over here. Got some Overwatch, so we're going to be fine. They are taking the high ground on the other hand. Really don't want to deal with the Viper or the Purifier at this point in time. That's another pack, yet not uh, the actual Advent Captain. Or General, rather. Got to be careful to not be, like, pincered. So that's why we're going to double move with uh, some of them. Just taking this sort of graveyardish area. Because we know one pack is on the high ground to our right. Those guys here are moving into the building. That's fine because they're breaking line of sight. Just from an overall perspective, uh, map layout perspective, I think we should continue moving along that corridor here. And as we proceed, we might run into the Advent Captain, or General rather. Lots and lots and lots of Overwatch. This is, a, this is a bit of a hide and seek mission for now. Very soon though, uh, this might be, the, this might turn into a pretty explosive start. Yeah, wouldn't kill the Sectoid. Not immediately. Alright, putting ourselves into full cover. Trying to get behind this um, house so that we can hopefully take a peek for the next pack. This pack here is incredibly easy to deal with, uh, so we wouldn't want to waste our time with them to begin with. Good, everyone continues moving up, that is fine. Yeah, it's not the most action-packed start, but when you uh, need to deal with the Advent uh, General, the worst thing that you can do is lose your cover right away and then let the General just move to the exit. That is not what we want. The field commander needs to die first, if possible. Alternatively, we're taking the high ground here. Just take it from there. This is the end of the map. Probably a good idea to take the high ground. Moving a bit closer. On 
Taking full moves now, knowing that this will not trigger anyone. Full cover. Yeah, and let's position ourselves here for now. I'm still considering the second floor with full cover in these windows to be incredibly good positions. So we might want to get in there. But that is only something you want to do after you've spotted out a pack for now. We're still searching for them. Haywire takes uh, the point right here. As soon as we would spot someone, there are two nice spots up here. Full cover, high ground, exactly what you would want to have. This, by the way, is a really nice um, alternative texture. Uh, this backyard exists in normally in a non-frozen way. I think it looks awesome in a frozen uh, in a frozen format. Nicely done. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I think we're going to move over, taking the other side's high ground as well. Moving to position. And for good measure, let's move here. The invaders patrol is nearby. All right, that's a priest and something. Good start, I like it. Let's position ourselves over here. Yeah, that's a tough pack to deal with. Priest plus um, Stun Lancer plus a normal Advent Trooper. It's not yet, not even the main pack yet. Should not trigger anyone. Well, my bad. I thought it wouldn't, but it clearly did. But that's fine. We're uh, they're only seeing one of our soldiers. Let's open the door. And now that the cat is out of the bag. We might as well start killing them. Um, high ground is good. High ground without cover, not so good. I was hoping that we could just jump in here. Apparently I was wrong. And you cannot do that. Okay, let's see. Um, realistically speaking... Probably want to deal with a stun lancer and the priest first. Yeah. Okay, we could reach both of them. How about we are giving Rabbit here the aid protocol? Because she will be exposed. And we start dealing with the stun lancer. 
Three points of damage is excellent. It's a good start. Moving over here. Shouldn't trigger anything, to be honest. Hmm, is it worth uh, taking that shot? Not sure. You know, if we're taking that shot, it'll take, uh, it will uh, deal at least two points of damage. That's uh, six points or hit six hit points left. It's not enough to kill him for sure. This is a 50 50 as well. Ah, the Templars are weak at the beginning. That's unfortunate. This, however, is a 100% certain kill, so might as well go for it. We're standing in the open, though. It's half cover since we do have a protocol. That's fine. Still definitely not the best place to be caught. And the question here is, do we want to use one of our grenades to ease in the situation? Three points of damage means he's still not a hundred. Uh, he's still not a hundred percent in kill range. So what we're going to do instead is we're softening him up. Two points of damage for a missed shot. That's fine. And what I would want to do is go in, hit him. Oh, we don't even have parry. I forgot about that. I'm so used to playing with a Templar that is already a bit more leveled i just want to stand there and parry and forgot for a second that that is not the case well now we do have problems there's yet another pack uh, here Stasis is a problem, because once he's getting out of stasis, he will be completely vulnerable to be shot at. Shot into full cover, luckily misses. And we do have a problem. Houston, we do have a problem. Five to seven will not kill it, and we will trigger another pack. We got to do something though, because leaving him in the open will definitely be a death sentence. There is no question about that. Could move to here and try to kill him. Yeah, we need to clear that side. It's very unfortunate for our Grenadier. So the safest bet that we do have is basically moving in, killing this guy. And this here would be a 100% kill as well. We might be able to throw the... Um, Flashwing grenade over here and let him survive. That would not be the worst idea. This here is full cover, full cover, full cover, so no one can look into this direction. Might as well just go for broke. Um, there's no pack here, no one who can see us. So, although we're not ending in full cover, 
it's basically not going to hurt us. Um, moving into cover. Hmm, that would be a kill. But it still would not be a solution for the Viper, unfortunately. This is a kill as well. Unfortunately for us, I mean, this here is still really, really nice. It's almost tempting because the Viper has just one shot, but the Viper uh, Viper deals four points of damage. We have six hit points. If it's a crit, um, that could be a kill. This, however, on the other hand, will render the uh, Purifier completely useless. No poison from the Viper. Uh, she cannot use her Tongue uh, Lash ability and minus... 25% to hit. Plus, she cannot move up. Yeah. Shoots into full cover. So I'm not sure why she did that, but I'm not going to complain. We've just triggered another pack. And there's the Advent uh, Field Officer. Who also triggers, by the way. Okay, this is a great showcase, ladies and gentlemen, of how to definitely and 150% not approach XCOM in terms of trying to kill uh, pots one by one. It's, the quite, it's absolutely and Quite the opposite of how you should deal with it. I use the shotgun because the shotgun has the lowest accuracy for longer targets and that was a secure kill. Now we do have a few things to take care of first. Probably full cover. And in terms of like using a grenade, it seems to me that this here might be a good place to start. Alternatively, this here is probably even a better place to, to be entirely honest. The Viper is a dangerous foe. So in order to do that, what's a great place to be? How about not at the enemy? How about not at the enemy? Um, we could position ourselves over here. Do we have enough range for that? Hmm. Might be at the edge of the range. So we're going to free up the spot. That way, our Grenadier can take a full cover spot. Uses one of his grenades. Hopefully deals with both of their cover. Alright, in terms of just killing those guys. Uh, that'll be a kill for the sectoid, which we're probably going to do. Um, Mystic takes the aid protocol. Mystic 
Mystic then proceeds to kill the Sectoid. Thanks to melee vulnerability. And that'll give us some more focus for movement and increases our damage. With momentum, he could get all the way to here, which is full cover, or here, that's also full cover. Um, or over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're probably going over here. Problem is, the Viper will most likely survive the turn. There we go. And that is a very slim chance to fully kill the Viper. No. Instead, dodging shot. Bind is not the end of the world, it's only two points of damage. Double movement, and we got another single movement. Okay. Okay, very nice. Very nice. So there is the chance to explode this here and kill automatically. And there's a pretty decent chance that we could kill the Viper as well. Might as well use our actions efficiently. So that's a heal. Getting him out of this level range. That was highly unfortunate. Could take somewhat high ground, not even sure if it is considered to be high ground, probably. Or we could alternatively just go for the Viper. I think we're going to do it. It's 100% hit because we do have an advanced stock, so it'll deal damage either way. And with that, break the bound. Alarium uh, core is wonderful. Data cache is even better. That's effectively uh, Intel. We could explode that and kill him for uh, with 100% certainty. Could move to here and get down the advent. Um, could as well. Move to here into half cover, or here into half cover, and deal a decent amount of damage. Could move to here and kill this guy. And be in cover. I mean, of course, the Advent Officer could move here and then flank us, but it's unlikely to happen. We could move to here, take the shot and explode everything, and then basically kill the trooper here. I think that's what we're going to do, just reducing the number of enemies on the field. This is still half cover, and it's not that easy to flank, because he doesn't want to be flanked himself, so he cannot really take any good cover here. He's probably just going to continue to run to the exit. This takes care.
of one of them. That's the second kill. We are finally maxed out. Fortunately, we don't have a perfect place to position ourselves. So, just going to go to here. That forces him to move. He doesn't want to be flanked. Interesting. That was interesting. All right, so moving into full cover using this little toy here as remaining cover. Still two points of damage, the advantage of an advanced stock. And well, this is shotgun to the face. Nice, seven points of damage, awesome. And that should be a kill. A righteous strike. There you go, buddy. Take your righteous strike. Alright, not flawless. Uh, we unfortunately got teched by the Viper, but I think the rest of the fight was overall okay. Alright, here we go. No one got a promotion and we got instead got the gift of 18 days of thinking about our mischief, uh, mischievous deeds. So Mystic will be out for now. Too bad. Elarium Core, one. Alien Data Cache, that's good. That's probably 30, maybe 40 uh, Intel on top. And we got quite a few corpses, that's cool. Plus 104 Intel. That's exactly what we needed. Good. It is impressive to see that we're still in the game. And that despite all of uh, these hardships, we're, we're maybe making it out on top. Uh, resistance context isn't bad because it'll give us the option to not update our resistance context in general. Question is, is it worth seven days of um, scanning? Seven days of scanning equates to around 50 Intel. And I think we need the Intel more. We're going to build, let's think about it. We do have three resistance contacts. We could get one from resistance order. So that's potentially four. We get um, with the resistance, um, uh, with the resistance communication building, we get another three. So that's six. And we could update it even further. I think we're okay on resistance contacts, although the game uh, sees that we're nearing the maximum of contacts. And that is nice, it's good to see. I think our biggest challenge by far is still Intel. So I'll continue with the Intel grind. Might be a mistake here. Um, I've never tried it beforehand, so it's the, it's the first time that I'm trying the achievement on Legendary. But I think my logic is sound. Okay, so we got our research complete here. Now we're having the availability of a Shadow Chamber. Got an inspiration for the data cache. I think we're going to go with that. That's seven days of extra um, research that the game gives us for free. Plated armor is also fine. But um, well, sometimes you got to just roll with the base uh, with what the game is giving you. And the inspiration will give us more intel, which we need. Um, and we still will have time to research a bit on the um, armor upgrades after that is done. All 
All right, continuing. We're now at almost end of April. A couple of uh, soldiers recover from their wounds. Uh, we have nothing really important to do at the moment other than continuing the oversight. And that's not, uh, that's not bad. We could level a few soldiers. The problem with Operation Swamp Hammer is that if we're going to lose that operation, we would lose access to New India, which of course we don't want to happen. Um, New India currently provides us quite a bit of income. Um, if we're winning with uh, some more um, of the civilians left over, we're even going to get more supplies in the future. So that's helpful. I think we're on the right track here. Um, soon we got the data cache uh, completely uh, deciphered. And in terms of just overall team, I think this time we can bring our A team again. Uh, Diva is almost back. Wrath definitely does an awesome job so far. So yeah, we're going to go in with Wrath saying um, boom boom as uh, the, the random grenadier is now called what a fitting name boom boom me being simple human being me called boom boom um and we got hayward uh, so yeah that should be a good uh, good enough team to start I'm a bit miffed about the templar not receiving the uh, corporal rank and also being wounded uh, that might bite us in the rear on the long um, in a longer perspective in terms of resistance rings um, if I'm not mistaken we didn't really have any phenomenal orders here Yeah, we're just gathering intel and that's about it. Yeah, anyways, I think that's uh, we're fine for now. It's not going phenomenally good, but it's also not bad. Um, it's just an incredibly difficult um, task to do it all on Legendary. This brings us to the end of today's mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button and like the video. And as always, I'm looking forward to hear your comments specifically on the new recording quality. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.